you know, the person. Obviously, we're going to watch the tape and your coaching staff, the trainers, the equipment room, the academic advisors. And so we, we compile that information and then we get with our coaching staff. And we've done a really good job of, you know, finding the right fit for our organization. Well, speaking of the right fit, the guys that you have... Our schedule and, and hopefully every year we're trying to play a 20-game season. You're going to need those guys. And we don't really look at these players as... As practice squad players, we just look at them as an extension of our roster. And a bunch of guys over the years have started out on the, on the practice squad, whether it be Anazi Johnson or Jack Cochran, and uh, last year, Matt Dickerson. So every year, we're going to rely on those guys. And, and, you know, we've just been fortunate that our coaching staff does a great job, again, not just with the starters, but they do a great job of coaching up the young guys on the practice squad because it, it's not a matter of if but when. We'll need them throughout the course of the season. All right, let's hear what the call is. Yeah. I guess the field goal counts, so I'll take it. Brett, I know this is a tough time of year because you guys are going to have to say goodbye to some guys who come and work their tails off for you. Just talk a little bit about how challenging this week is, given the level of commitment these guys have given to you in the offseason. Yeah, every year is different um, in regards to the composition of our roster, but, um, you know, you have guys that in some cases they're, they've been on our roster for years, and in some cases they've, they've joined the roster in the spring, but they put a lot of dedication, a lot of time, and, you know, every roster cut is always a tough time for us because... You know, we bring in great people, and it's always, you know, a tough time to... Two-yard field goal from Santos, the former chief. That extends the Bears' lead to 10 to nothing. We are not going to go to break. We're going to keep talking with General Manager Brett Veach. The evaluation process never stops. It's a year-round thing. When do you start getting ready for specifically, like right now... Our college guys, Trent, they'll, they'll spend about a week or so with us at training camp, get a flavor for our team, where we are, you know, what our... It really, really never ends on both sides. Well, we want to give you a chance to talk a little bit about your staff because I know those guys work so hard to help you get the right information to find the right players. Yeah, and I really think it's it's part of the reason why we're so successful. I mean, we have a great roster. Obviously, we have a great coaching staff, and our coaches have been together for a while, but um, very much the same case with is with me and my personnel staff. I mean, we've been together for a long time. You know, Mike Berganz, our assistant GM, I'm sure we'll have a great chance and opportunity to be a GM next year. On the pro side, Tim Terry, and then on the college side, Mike Bradway, Ryan Nutt. I mean, they just do an amazing job and you know beneath those guys we just have a, a bunch of really talented individuals and scouts that work their tail off we're going to take a quick break but we're going to keep gm brett beach with us we've got more to talk about with monitor that and you know they certainly the games carry a little bit more weight i think we're we're in a pretty good spot this year because you know we kind of like having a thursday game we have a few extra days to, to sit back there and get with the coaching staff but after tonight's over we'll get with the training staff first and we'll go through the injuries and, and you know see who's healthy um, from there, we'll, again, grade this game. We'll get with the coaching staff tomorrow. Once we break with the coaching staff, we'll take all their notes, and then usually Coach and I will get together, and then after that, uh, Coach and I will get together with both uh, Matt on the offense and Spags on the defense, and, you know, we'll go through some of the last roster positions and work together as a group to... to you know, getting Creed Humphrey signed, and, you know, from a number standpoint, does that come in to play quite a bit or not as much as people think? Yeah, no, it, it does. I think, you know, we do a great job, and, and Clark allows us the flexibility to, you know, always go out there and, and field the best team. Um, we're always conscious of that. We're always aware of that, and I think Trent probably comes more into play with other players from other teams that, that are out there. Right. Um, and, and so if, if, if there's a trade, um, you know, a lot of times – Teams may be looking to, to move a contract more so than a player. And so right. um, it's just a matter of, of where we are and if we can get creative um, with that contract and, and make it work. But, again, just – so we'll get with everyone. And, you know, it's, it's really a collaborative process. And, you know, everyone has, has a say here, and, the, and that's the cool thing. Brett, we really appreciate your time. Of the last couple of preseasons have been coming off winning a Super Bowl. What the heck? Do it three times in a row, my man. man. Yep, thank you guys so much. Make, thank uh, you for making it. Appreciate you taking the time. We appreciate Always. it. Always. Well, great every year to get a chance to talk to the man who makes the final decisions on the roster. Nice that he could be up here. He said it's always the other team that scores, and he's here, and the Chiefs have first and goal. Well, that's the only right. on the field is at the punt. Texas receiving team number 30. It was recovered by Kansas City. First down, Kansas City. You wanted him to save for the touchdown? I'm like, all right, wait, you're making him leave before they score? He just talked about the other team always score points. So. <laughs> Gain a six for Hardman. The Super Bowl hero. Game-winning touchdown in overtime. I'll tell you one thing. We've talked a lot about number 21, Jaden Hicks. We're going to talk about steals of the draft the Chiefs have had. That guy may be on that list next year when we look back at this season. 
He, he definitely did. has. He, he's been a part of special teams. He's been, been standing out on defense as well. And another standout. He's just had a really good preseason, but that time he just stared it down. He, he, he looked right where he was going the entire time, waiting for it to break. And as a defender, you just follow. In yard line. Rippin looks to his left, and that is complete. Brendan Bates makes the catch, and Jaden Hicks makes another play. Fourth round pick out of Washington State. And Webster, a little shaken up on the play. Webster's made a few plays here in the first half for the Bears. Uh, Jaden Hicks, they love his versatility. They love his ability on special teams. Personal protector on punts. And here's the bio. Played three seasons at Washington State. Got to play in the Reese's Senior Bowl. And fourth round pick, number 133 overall. Uh, Pro Football Focus thought he was amongst the best safeties last year in the Pac-12. Well, and as, as we've said throughout the preseason, he, he stood out from the very beginning in training camp, whether it be special teams or or at safety. The other players and the coaches have taken notice since day one. He's been he's been bringing it since day one, and he continues here tonight. Well, every year before I come to training camp, I always reach out to Matt McMullen, and he's the first person who kind of tells me his thoughts, and boy, he was gushing about Jaden Hicks, and this guy is already really having an impact on the team. Second and eight for the Bears. 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. Bayless Jones in the backfield. They give it to Jones. And Jones will be brought down just across the 15-yard line. Gain of three on the play. I think that was Bozeman there, 55, who might have been in on the stop. Well, that's one of the guys I, I mentioned at the beginning of this game that I wanted to keep an eye on. You know, he, Cam Jones and, and Bozeman, two guys that have made an impact, two young players that have made an impact, not only in special teams, but on defense. And Drew Tranquil was very complimentary of Bozeman early in training camp about how quickly he's been able to pick up the defense. And it's translated to these preseason games as he's been making a lot of plays. He has. Last week he had seven tackles, second most on the team last week against the Lions. Ripping. He's going to tuck and run. He's got some room to work with. He'll pick up the first down before he slides at the 27. There is a flag, however, back at the 12-yard line. Holding. Holding. Offense, number 60. At least half the distance to the goal line. Replay third down. I can't believe the Bears have a guy named Bill Murray on their team. I mean, Bill Murray might be the biggest Chicago sports fan ever. He's going to call and make a reservation. He's like, you have a reservation for Bill Murray, please? Right gonna there, be, right, guys. No offense. They're going to be a little disappointed when he shows up and not the actor. <laughs> Well, the real question is, is he's singing Take Me Out to the Ball right, right. Had, had a Cubs game. <laughs> that would be... Uh... Third and long for the Bears. And that's Cole Christensen who forced him out of bounds. 48 it is. So good job there by the Chiefs defense. It'll force a punt. Well, big holding call pushed him back inside their own 10 and not able to recover from his Chiefs are going to should get good field position here. Kadarius Tony from his own 45 gets to the outside and brought down at the 40. The flag comes in late. See what the flag is all about. Now, for those of you that were with us week one when we were in Jacksonville, we sent Matt McMullen on a little adventure to the pool in Jacksonville. The question is, where is he now? We were in Jacksonville. We sent Matt McMullen on a little adventure to the pool in Jacksonville.